What's going on today? We reviewing Power Book 2 Season 4 Episode 6. And on the first one back, it was so much stuff that happened. I mean, they gave us so much in this hour. And I did kind of notice the pace was super fast. Like they pushing the light in. And that's because the series is about to end. So y'all let me know. Did y'all like the pace of stuff and how stuff was put in? Did you like how the scenes played out? You know, t let me know in the comments. But I thought it was parts that was real good and it was parts that was real shaky. Like the Zion scene, right? When they took out Zion, that part was like super shaky. I didn't know if I was watching uh, Winter Soldier or <laughs> Power. Had a bit of that Fast and Furious feel. Like, yeah, what is going on? He threw the buddy through the wall. Threw Brayden through the wall. Brayden hopped right back up. I don't know if it's because he was on coke. I don't know. I never did coke. I ain't know it give you that feeling. You see what I'm saying? Brayden hopped right back up and got back in action. I said, dang. I said, dang. They really went fast and furious mode on that scene. Where it's just stuff happening that's not in reality at all. You know, but um, besides that, it was other stuff that was crazy. When Diana got beat down, that was wild. Like, I couldn't believe... They had that happen, and she got beat down. She probably lost the baby. Hopefully, she didn't. If she lost the baby, that's going to change a lot. But regardless, if she still got the baby or she lost the baby, Tariq is going to be on savage mode because you just killed the child. You just took the baby out, and you still running around. So that chick, that, that uh, female officer, Alicia, I think her name, she going to get done for. She gonna get done off this next episode for sure. And then you got the Tate brother coming, which, man, I can't believe how the Tate uh, officer went out, dog. Like, how green can you be? He show up, secret location, and the way he talking to uh, Detective Carter, it's just like, yo, he has no awareness that this guy can be involved. And even if you had no awareness, you didn't know anything beforehand. When you get in front of him and you watching his mannerisms and how he talking and, you know, he got his hand by his waist and all, all of that stuff would have had me back out. Cause I'm just like, what are we doing dog? I'm here to give you information. You looking kind of, you know, shaky, you know, you looking like you might try some, you know? So I think that whole scene, I'm just looking at Tate like, yo, bruh, what are you doing? And then he got shot once. So I'm like, maybe he survived. Then I seen the preview. Nah, he gone. So Tate brother gonna come, you know, the big Tate, Councilman Tate. Well, he little Tate, really, because that's the little brother. But he gonna come and he gonna be on. You gonna see his whole demeanor. Everything gonna be a little different. Like, man, what happened to my brother, punk? Like, that's how he gonna be talking to uh, Don Carter and all of them. And once he get with Tariq, He'll have a better understanding of who these detectives are, how crooked they are. You know, they got Drew in jail doing some wild stuff. First off, Drew already, you know, nah. So <clears throat> he go to jail. He probably, <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but he probably right at home. You know what I'm saying? He like, oh, it's time to party. It's time to party party. You know what I'm saying? That's how Drew probably thinking because <laughs> he in jail. You know what I'm saying? But. They seeing Drew to jail. He handled his business. He got the job done. You know, got hurt, and then he get up. And they just let him walk into the other guy's room. Nobody is around. Just like, yo, Drew, ain't nobody around. Do your thing, dog. You know, both of y'all hurt. You just going to get up and walk off. Ain't no doctors, nothing. You know, so Drew was able to get off. He got off in there. Now, he got to get out of there. That's another thing. Like, you in there, now you got to get out of there. Which they got them in, but trying to get them out might be a little bit more difficult because some of them probably ain't going to survive. Uh, the, the detective Alicia, she probably going to get knocked off next episode. Darren Carter might get knocked off next episode. They probably say him for the last because he like the big bad guy of this uh, season. But they're going to be getting knocked off. So Drew might just be in jail for a while. You know what I mean? Like it's a possibility he just be in jail. You know, and not get out at all. You know, but um, yeah, man, it was some stuff happening in this episode that was crazy. Then you had Kane just letting Noma talk to him 
wow. And this is why you never get in a relationship like that, dog. Where she basically wearing the pants. She throwing glasses at him and stuff. I'm like, dude, she literally throwing glasses with alcohol in it at you. She don't respect you, dog. Like, you hitting it, but she don't respect you. Now, Davis, when he come around, I bet she don't do that to him. I bet when Davis hit it again, and I think he gonna hit it again, I bet she don't do that with him. See, respect is necessary in that dynamic from male to female. They gotta respect you, dog. The female gotta respect the man. And the man should respect the female, too. But when that dynamic ain't there, it get crazy. Real crazy. When the female, like... It's bad. So he got to figure something out. And you see he running back over to Effie. He running back over to Effie like, yo, Effie, I, you know, I love you. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about you. And Effie ain't trying to hurt because she was there when the Russians got attacked by the detectives, you know. So, um, yeah, man, it, it, it was just it was just why I wonder who going to go next. Will it be Effie? I want to see her reaction when she find out about Diana, too. Because she was hating. Oh, Effie was hating. I said, dang, Effie, why you hating like that? Because you still love Tariq and he didn't knock some other chick up. You come up hating hard. I said, dang. You know, so I want to see her reaction to that. Because she probably, she probably still going to be hating. You know what I'm saying? But I hope Diana, I actually hope she keep the baby. I hope don't nothing happen to the baby. But they did show that maybe they trying to show that Tariq has turned the corner and he going to be very protective over Diana because something happened to her and maybe he looking at her more like a wife instead of a baby mama now. That could be, you know, a thing. And that'd be great for him to wife Diana. You know what I'm saying? That'd be, I like that for real, you know. But uh, yeah, man, coming back, I thought it was good as far as moving the storyline along. You know, they did a good job with that, but some of them scenes, dog. Braden getting high and hopping up on stage. I'm like, oh, God. Even everybody on stage, Braden, get down. You know, I'm thinking the same thing when I'm watching. Dog, get down. Get off stage. What are you doing? You know, so that was just a wild scene, you know, but Braden, Braden definitely gonna go. He getting high. Tariq see it, too. That's another thing. Tariq see him bugging out. That's the the big problem with Brayton. If he was bugging out and Tariq never seen it, it like Tariq could still have that perception of him. But because he's bugging out and Tariq always see it, like, yo, this dude bugging out. He getting high, he running around, jumping on stage. He look crazy. This is supposed to be our spot. You look crazy up in here. We throwing the parties and you look crazy. Like, yeah, he gonna have to cut that, that dead weight, man. Even when they went to get Zion. Braden was, you know, but yeah, it's a lot to look forward to going forward, you know, even though the comeback wasn't the best episode to me, I like how they pushed it along, you know, you had Anya, she still was getting it in with Tariq, he kind of played at the club, I wonder how she gonna react when she find out who her mama is, cause she's still just clueless, she just, she don't know what's what yet, you know, so it's a lot that, that, you know, we got to look forward to a lot more people still got to get knocked off. We got the tape brother out the way. I can imagine since a lot of people didn't get knocked off in the first five episodes, every episode, we're going to get a big character that's going to get knocked off. Literally every episode we got Tate. He probably was the smallest character out of the big characters that played a bigger role on the show. But each episode going forward, seven, eight. 9, 10, it's going to be more big characters. Drew, then Kane, then, you know, Monet. And, but the, the ones I think they're going to say for the end, Monet, because she's been there the whole time. Um, uh, oh, actually, I do a video and break down who I think going to survive and who I think going to go, for sure. You know, so look forward to that. Of course, we're doing the power reviews. We're still finishing up Bel Air. You know, I seen episode 9. Got to watch episode 10 of that. You know, and it's a bunch of different shows that's fire. Uh, Bad Monkey that's on uh, Apple with Vince Vaughn, that's fire. You know, so we're going to be reviewing a lot of stuff. Rest in peace, Rich Homie Quan too. He was that dude when I was in the club, you know. And when I listen to all these newer artists, that's who I see. I see Rich Homie Quan. you know. So 
he uh really was pivotal. I seen him perform before, so yeah, rest in peace to him. But uh, other than that, man, as always, if this is your first time here, y'all make sure y'all check out the other content. Click that like button. We do film, music, and sports on the channel. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, y'all be easy. Be safe.